Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you today? This is a new love reading for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome if you are new, and thank you to all the returning subscribers. Let's cut the deck and jump into this reading for you. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. Really feeling like calm, cool, collected. You know what you want. You have clarity. You're not going to let anybody put you in anything that would be unhealthy or unhappy. You're sort of like one with nature. You, many of you are meditating, but you are in a beautiful, beautiful, uplifting space right now with this King of Swords energy, staying logical and happy and really with your eye on what you really want. So let's see, in the recent past, you've had some sort of victory. We see that you are, uh, there are a lot of people looking at you. If you are online dating, the spotlight is focused on you. Your inbox is full. <laughs> if you're not dating online, it really speaks to the fact that whatever you're doing in terms of how you dress or how you present yourself, you are looking good. You're getting a lot of attention, a lot of accolades. Even if you're shy, people are shining the spotlight on you. You might, may not be taking a bow if you're shy, but otherwise you are in a beautiful place for manifestation. We have Venus and Mars and Leo right now. It's the first time I believe since 2019 that the planet of love and the planet of sensuality, sex and action are joined together. So it's a beautiful time to meet somebody that would be exciting, fulfilling, passionate, funny, sexy, and someone that your friends would absolutely adore as well as you. And you're also coming in with this energy, Gemini. So let's see what's happening today. Okay, you've had an epiphany of some sort. You have a real recognition that you want to build a relationship with a very, very strong foundation. The way you're viewing your love life right now in terms of building something, you're going to take everything a day at a time. You're not going to get ahead of yourself. You're very much in the energy of small offers. Consistent behavior is going to be the key to the way you see things. How you are viewed by others right now, you are mysterious, sexy. You are very calm. Everybody knows that there's a lot beneath the surface. They, you know, you're really seen as being very dignified, very elegant, and somebody who has very still waters run deep. The way people react to you when they meet you is happiness, joy. You are really, your wit, your sense of humor is very much in this sort of funny place. People don't expect that from you. And when you say something, you know, you sort of enter a room in this very quiet kind of a way, looking good, wearing something beautiful. You surprise people when you have a great sense of humor. In the near future, we see that you are going to have multiple offers here. We have the emperor driving the chariot. This is a beautiful card. It's Cancerian energy. And it really says, honey, I'm home. People have a driving desire to meet you, to be a part of your life. Uh, many suitors will probably rush in right now. You may have to watch what you're <laughs> eating and drinking because you may feel a little bit overwhelmed by it, but Gemini it looks beautiful. What is hidden right now is two. So I am seeing that in the early stages of dating that you will consider multiple people, but probably not more than two at a time. It looks like you're going to try to limit yourself to just focusing on two different people and um, going forward, you know, not juggling. I don't see you wanting to juggle people, but considering two or three different people in the talking stage. What Spirit is recommending for you is choose happiness. Gemini. Leo energy, beautiful energy here. It just speaks to the fact that if it doesn't feel good, uh, you know, it's like the sun. It's life-giving. Choose a very life-enhancing, joyful, happy relationship in which there are beautiful surprises, in which there's a lot of love, and you, you really get to feed your soul, your emotions, and you're feeling really good 
Let's see what your outcome is. The strength card in it to win it, going the distance, going through the marathon of whatever it takes to bring love into your life. You are going to meet someone. So this is Leo energy. So you could meet somebody with a Leo sun, moon, or rising. This is Leo energy. This is Leo energy. So there's a heavy Leo influence uh, somewhere in your person's chart. We also have Aries influence. We have the page of pentacles, which is Virgo. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, uh, Capricorn. So you have a lot of energies here that are very stabilizing. These, This is going to be a very fulfilling relationship coming in because we have cups. We have enough attention with fun. We have some practicality here. And we have enthusiasm for the nurturing experience that love can bring in. So let's go ahead and look at the details here of who is going to approach you in love and what is going to happen okay so let's take a look and see why we have the king of swords here why are you so calm cool collected why is that your overall energy what is going on with our beautiful gemini's i like this reading for you it is stunningly beautiful okay let's see you know, you have fire in your belly. You have fire in your belly, but a very serene uh, exterior. You know, you're willing to have the fight, but you're not going to fight anything that's going to cause uh, turmoil. So though you have fire in your belly, you're willing to, you know, you're really on the lookout for that person. You also have some boundaries, and that's a good thing. And when we look at King of Swords energy, that is a person who's very much at peace, someone who often helps us. And so you have to be careful that when you, when somebody comes into your life right now, that they don't overstep the boundaries. Okay. So the four of cups says that a lot of you are sitting around bored right now <laughs> and it shows that you're just not open to something that's just very ordinary. You want something that's very special and you're just not going to settle for much else. The Four of Cups says that you're not going to be distracted from what you want and that anybody who has sort of a bad attitude is going to fall by the wayside. You want someone with whom you will collaborate. We're really getting the energy here that you're going to meet somebody that has shares interests of yours. Daily life with this person will be quite good. It's Capricorn energy. You probably, you, for some of you, you could work together. But what we're seeing is that you're looking for that person with whom you can have a great day-to-day -day life, you know, just to manage a life day-to-day -day can take some effort. And you want somebody who's, somebody's coming in who is very, very enthusiastic. This person is a person who is also in the same stage of dating as you. Both of you have had turmoil. Both of you have healed from it. So it's gorgeous, okay. So look at this. Somebody's going to throw caution to the wind and approach you. It could be someone who's younger, very enthusiastic, a lot of fun, a lot of laughter. This may not be an, you know, an, a lifetime person, but it is Sagittarius energy and it speaks to putting yourself out there. The Ace of Coins, now we have a Taurus King coming in. Taurus King, everything that you value, this person has. They bring a lot to the table. We're getting the energy of somebody who's very successful, who's good with their money, who's worked hard for their money, somebody who's loyal, somebody who is very, very passionate and passionate about their entire life, passionate about their success, passionate about making the relationship a very happy experience day to day. Uh, they want to be with you and you actually... Uh, it's kind of a surprise meeting for some of you. You don't see this coming. You're not expecting it. And it's a beautiful surprise. So we have Taurus King. We have the Scorpio King. We have the Chariot, which is the Emperor driving his car. And we have the beautiful King of Swords. So you have a plethora. We only are missing the King of Wands, and he may show up yet. So what do we have here? What is the energy in terms of, you know, how you're viewing the, the daily progress of dating? 
you are hitting it hard. You want somebody who's enthusiastic, who's business-minded, who's out and about, who's well-informed. You know, I'm really getting this energy that you're going to meet somebody who is a good match, Gemini. Fire signs are great matches for air signs. Fire feeds air, you know, air feeds fire. So it is this energy that, you know, the way you're approaching this is with a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, really sticking to your goals. I love the energy. Look at this, the king and queen of cups. So if you have a lot of water in your chart, you have a divine counterpart that is coming in here that knows how to love very deeply. So we have Scorpio and Cancerian energy and the emperor is coming in with the Cancerian energy here. So we're really seeing a beautiful opportunity for you in which your person will identify you very successfully with the Six of Wands, that you are not a lightweight, that you are the queen, and they will come walking towards you in a very steady, very slow, very measured pace to get to know you. The two of you feel like you've known each other for many years, and there is a deep, hot, burning passion in your belly for this Scorpio King or the beautiful Queen of Cups. So let's see what we have. What is making you so happy? The Death card. Oh, a cycle has closed out that was very unhappy in your life. You are jumping for joy. Your ships are coming in. You are in the rebirth, the renaissance of your love life. I have shivers literally all over, all over from seeing this card that you are really, you've arrived in your space of finding new love. Here we go. We have the victory card to go with it. Very, very strong Leo presence here, even though we haven't seen the Leo King. So what do we have here now for the chariot card, which is moving swiftly forward? And that is how you see yourself right now, putting yourself out there, taking that leap, and you're being very methodical about how you do it. You're putting yourself out there in a very deliberate way. You know, there are meetup groups all over the country. There's one in Chicago area called 50 and over, I'm not dead yet. And it is a fantastic group. And I am currently participating in that group. So it's really putting it, and I'm a Gemini, by the way, um, putting yourself out there, you're having fun. You know, it doesn't even matter. You're not in a hurry at all to meet anybody with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, you just want to meet a really good match, a perfect match for you, and you're very deliberate. Look at this energy. The emperor is driving the chariot. And here you are. You are Empress Energy in this scenario. I'm really getting that your person is a person who is seeking someone who is a counterpart, someone with whom they can collaborate. And it's very, very interesting energy here that you are on the same page, would we say, with this Emperor Energy. This is a person who's very successful, as is monetarily in outward life as is the King of Pentacles, the Scorpio King. Sometimes they do things professionally, like they might be a therapist. There's somebody who digs deep. It could be like a detective, an investigator, everything that's secret. When we look at the King of Pentacles, we're often looking at somebody who has a career that's involved with finance, real estate, self-employment. Um, when we look at the Emperor card, we're looking at a world-class leader sometimes you know that's like the uh, the CEO or the CFO or the CEO of a major corporation could be very very successfully self-employed owning still a family business in which a legacy has been built um, so that's like um, John Kerry being married to the daughter of the Heinz family the Heinz ketchup family so that's it's that sort of energy uh, this person may be in the process of building their future and, you know, moving forward very quickly, especially if they're under 30 or around 30 years old. The Two of Coins says that what's hidden here is that you are going to go the distance and you are going to consider, you're not going to limit yourself in the early stage of dating. What we see here is you're going for a victory and to get a victory, you are willing to talk to more than one person at the beginning. Again, I do not see you 
in the energy. It's almost like you're interviewing multiple people. That's the best way to put it. You have the strength card, the strength card. You have the right idea. You're really looking for a good match. Nothing else matters. You are not going to be sidetracked by anybody who's toxic. You're just, you know, you're just not in that space. You're not in that energy. That died. Did we see the death card somewhere over here? Oops, I can't remember where the death card is, but anyway, I think it's here. Let's see. Yes, oops, yes, yes, yes. So you are, you know, after a tower moment, you have a total realization of what it takes for you to be happy. And, you know, you're, you're just not in that toxic energy kind of a mode. You're all about winning, about succeeding, and your ship's arriving. So it's, you're really in a, an exquisite place for yourself. As, as one of my favorite readers, tarot readers, says on YouTube, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Ramblin' Mike, go on over. He's a great guy, gives a, a very unique, entertaining reading. So anyway, let's look at the sun card here. The sun card is wonderful. The star card, oh my word. That is what spirit is advising and this is what you're manifesting. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. It's joy, it's happiness, it's feeling like you're on in a constant state of joy, bliss. It's just a beautiful time in your life that's going to continue. And the star card is manifestation of hopes and dreams for love coming true at this time. What is it about the strength card we need to know? Ah, you're staying balanced. You are very much in the energy of not putting up with anybody who is a toxic. You have moved away from that energy. You have the strength to hold your own right now to not get dragged into things because you know what Gemini you guys have heart really a tremendous heart you know when we look at the astrology wheel everything that you value is based on relationships and your emotional connections to people and you would rather be alone your strength right now comes in this hermit search for answers the fact that you've done the work that you've really thought about your part in the relationships that didn't really, you know, that you were disappointed in. You're in this beautiful Virgo energy with the strength card. You have the ability to define what makes you happy. You're very clear cut about what's going to work and what isn't. Let's see in terms of the strength card is Leo energy. It is major arcana, major arcana Leo. Let's see what we have. Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor right now. Gemini, oh, there is a, always a devil who wants to seduce a beautiful Gemini. So there is someone who's going to come in that's toxic. They're going to be a person who keeps their options open. They're not really an emperor, but they're going to try to portray themselves as being an emperor. There's even somebody who's coming in that could be uh, in a union with someone else. So we're going to really look at the fact and what you're looking at is what people are actually presenting. You are looking for soulmate energy. Remember the devil can be um, the twin flame journey with the lover's card. But I'm not seeing, that's not the kind of journey that the strength card is going to um, go forward with for the most part. You are just really after the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You, for most of you, I feel as though you've been through the twin flame journey. I feel as though you've learned those lessons. Now you have, you have gone beyond that journey. You have ascended already, Gemini. Let's go a look. Let's go look at the energy of the whispers of wisdom. And we see a change of seasons. You are really changing up how you are participating in life what you're willing to sort of deal with. But you know, you're choosing, you are going to choose someone who is as successful as you are. You're not going to take on any anybody without a solid foundation. That's what's changed. So this devil energy, this devil can sing, you know, under the balcony of your bedroom all day long. You might listen to the beautiful song, but I don't see you signing on to that energy. Let's see what your ancestors have for their message for you. 
we have She-Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. You know, the wolf is a predator, but the wolf is a beautiful spirit and understands the cycle of life. So what we're seeing here with the She-Wolf energy is that you're going to be true to what's good for you. You're not going to take on anybody in your pack that's going to slow down or to diminish who you are at the essence and at the core. Let's look what the spiritual message is from the ancestors. And let's see, we have Master Jesus, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, forgiveness, Father, healing is possible at this time. Wonderful, beautiful energy. So for those of you who may have had a, a troubled childhood or a masculine energy in your life that sort of maybe set you up for some toxic energy because we repeat our life patterns, it's gone, 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 gone. And there is your reading. That's your new love reading, Gemini. You are going to have success. Look at that. All right, take care. Bye-bye.